into April, uh, one month closer to the summer, where we are all looking forward to being outdoors, um, you know, just hanging out, doing some gardening, um, if, if all is well and it allows having some friends and family over, um, putting something on the grill. Today, we are going to take a trip to the Caribbean. Um, you know how much I love the Caribbean, right? Uh, so, I am going to be making Jamaican jerk chicken and a coconut beans and rice. In Jamaica, they call it peas and rice, uh, but it is basically kidney beans, rice, coconut milk. On all the islands, they have a similar dish, coconut milk, rice, and some sort of beans. In Guyana, where I grew up, they do a black eyed peas with coconut milk and rice, and it is very delicious with or without any sort of protein and lots of spinach. That's one of my favorite things to, to have. Um, so today, very simply, we are going to prepare uh, this coconut beans and rice and some jerk chicken that you will be cooking in your oven but there's also instructions on how to do this on the grill if you want to do that um, in your spice packet you will have the jerk seasoning and you will have some cayenne pepper and the reason for that is that I did not put any cayenne pepper in here because I'm not sure what heat level you are at so if you want more heat, you add more of the cayenne pepper to your marinade. I will show you how to prepare the marinade and how to marinate the meat. The meat has to be marinated from two to 24 hours. Overnight in your fridge is fine. You just make sure you remove it from the refrigerator about 30 minutes before you want to grill it or bake it in the oven. So today, let's cook with intention. Let's cook with gratitude for all we have. So, Let's begin. Let's start by preparing our marinade for the chicken. Now remember this has to be prepared and marinated at least two hours ahead of time. Two tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons of tamari sauce. two tablespoons of lime juice, to this I added um, my packet of cayenne pepper because I wanted a little, I wanted it a little bit hotter than the spice mix was going to make it. I also marinated my chicken for two hours but you could do it overnight if that's what you want to do. Add five tablespoons of spice club jerk seasoning to this concoction and start whisking it and do it very well so that there are no lumps or anything like that. It should take you only a couple of minutes to do this, not, not too long. Okay, and here we are. Um, it looks really good. Um, and what I did was I actually put my chicken in a Ziploc bag, added the marinade to it, and massaged it into the chicken and then let it sit for two hours. Two hours later, grab a pan large enough to hold eight pieces of chicken. Preheat your oven to 375. Lay out your chicken in the pan, skin side up. Pour the marinade on top of the chicken as we do not want any of this to go to waste. Place in your preheated oven for 45 minutes. No need to flip the chicken. Internal temperature will be 165 degrees. Chicken is all done. It's a good idea to start cooking the rice and beans while your chicken is in the oven. That way they can both be ready at the same time. You need one cup of onions and two tablespoons of olive oil. Saute the onions really well. About five minutes or so seems to be a good figure usually to go by. Five minutes of saute in your onion. 
and we come back five minutes later and this is where we're at it's getting a little brown on the edges so at this time i'm going to add my beans to that that is one 15 ounce can of kidney beans two cups of long grain rice stir to combine To this, we add our liquids, one and a half cups of coconut milk, two cups of broth, I am using vegetable broth, we also add to this one tablespoon of jerk seasoning. about a teaspoon of salt and we stir that to combine well then add some chilies or jalapenos or any sort of hot pepper that you want. Cover and bring to a boil. So a couple of minutes later and it's starting to boil. Um, you wanna just feel around, see if anything is stuck on the side or the bottom, um, but not really turning it aggressively. So you could see it's starting to boil. What I want to do now is cover it again and turn the heat down to low. So a few minutes later, I'm curious about the rice. So I just take a quick peek and it's doing what it's supposed to do. 25 minutes later, and this is where the rice is at. I'm just going to let it cook for another five minutes and then it'll be done. So we are done. And here is Jamaica on a platter. Um, we have some jerk chicken and rice and beans, but we also include on that batter some fresh cucumbers and um, some lime wedges. Uh, let me make a suggestion when you serve this, do include something fresh, such as the cucumber, or even you could do something like mangoes or um, a salsa. It would work just as well. You just need something um, after the spiciness of the jerk chicken, you need something fresh um, to cleanse your palate. Um, it is all the, the lime. The lime also is a good thing to include because it is great squeezed on the chicken or even on the rice. So go ahead and include it on your serving dish when you um, when you bring it to the table. Um, I hope you enjoyed creating this as much as I enjoyed making this video for this month's spice club. Of course. Um, I'm going to be back next month and I'm not sure what we'll be doing yet but please stay stay tuned and if there's ever any questions or comments please feel free to leave it at the bottom of this video or to actually let me know in person um, if that's possible so thank you once again for having me in your space and I do hope you enjoyed the process